Welcome folks to Blue Mountain Lake and Dam at, at uh, Yale County, Arkansas, Waveland. We'd like for all you people to come out here and visit our lake. Pretty good fishing, pretty good camping. Pretty nice people out here. I'm not one of them, but uh, the rest of them are nice. Camera's going to be a little bouncy on a little bumpy here. I'll try to go slow where you can get a good look at the place anyway. I've always loved camping out here. Back off to the left is a bridge that goes over the overflow. I'll show you it on the way out. What's really happening is me and so scooter hog piglets on a walkabout right now this morning. It's a little cool. But it's supposed to get up around 80 today, so that's not going to be bad. Getting close to coming up on the lake, won't be long, we'll be there. Up here is one of the attendants, gate attendants on the right hand side. Wave for the camera. <laughs> He's a good old boy from Vernon, Texas. Kind of the hometown where I grew up. Of course, I was born right here in Wavering, but grew up in Vernon, Texas. Well, we're going to hit a little bump up here. I kind of wish they'd fix that bump. Maybe they'll get around to it one of these days. I always hate going over it. There's a lady walking her dog and everything. A lot of people come out here with their dogs and walk them up and down here. Well, we're in the park, we're in Waveland Park right now, and we're riding around pretty quick. You'll see the water. Right now, we're just kind of in the campground part. Not a whole lot of people in here right now. Of course, this is Friday. And it's not exactly real warm, so we're looking at a uh, little cool weather for camping unless you got a good camper. Me, I don't have one. I got a tent. But I guess when you ride motorcycles, that's the best you can do almost is with a tent. Unless you got a lot of money. Buy one of them campers, you can put your motorcycle up in the back of it. Of course, I don't think I could buy one for $12.75, so I guess I'll have to stick with the tent. We're coming up to the swimming area down here where everybody goes swimming back when the water's real warm. 
I know my granddaughters used to love coming out here and going swimming out here. Now they've all grown up. One's got a great granddaughter of mine, the other's in college. But I've got some other granddaughters and grandsons scattered out from Oklahoma to Texas. I always enjoy going to see them when I can. Well, this is a lake. It's kind of overcast this morning. It's kind of foggy. But that's all right. It's still a nice lake whether it's foggy or not. But during the real pretty day, you can see the mountains in the background, all the trees and everything. It's actually it's beautiful. I come out here at least four or five times a week. Sometimes I fish, sometimes I don't. This lake right here, back in 1924, this was my grandfather's farm. This is where my mother grew up. Well, folks, there's the lake. I guess I'll never get over liking this lake. It's just, to me, it's just plain beautiful. Well, I wish it wasn't overcast. I know what I can do, though. One of these nice, bright, sunny days, I'll come out here and run this again. It's always fun to come out here. Took my gloves off. My hands are a little bit cool. But it's getting warmer. I guess when I get down over here in Waveland Park side, I can go over to the the spillway where the water comes out on the other side of the mountain. It's, uh, I imagine I got the gate open right now, letting the water, some of the water out because the lake is over full from all the rain we've had. Yeah, they got a few boats out there. They're having a good catch. I don't believe I'm going to do any fishing this morning. I usually always carry fishing stuff in a little trunk on my scooter here. But I took it out this morning to put some more accessories for this camera in there. There's some more of the lake. It's really pretty. Got some friends that live right up there and they they take care of some of the park and everything. They're they're good people. Well, I guess I could head out of here and had a lot of people out there in boats fishing today. Bless their heart. Now let me go over to the spillway and see what we got over there going on. Probably nothing. Like I say, it's a little bit cool. And of course, it's not a holiday weekend. The place usually is always filled up on a holiday weekend. They got some spots that you can come in and 
first come, first served, and they got some spots that's reservable. Well, we got a pickup coming. I guess I better yield to him. I don't want him to run over me. Well, that was a Corps of Engineer truck. I don't reckon he'd run over me, I don't guess. Well, we're coming back up to that bump again, going out. The restrooms are good and clean up here, so that's one thing that makes you feel good. Well, there was that bump. Well, we're going to head over to the spillway right now. Old Bob may be out running around over there. He's a gate attendant there who goes to the spillway. Got a stop sign coming up up here. I wonder if our stop or just roll right on through it. I guess I better at least slow down. I don't want anybody running over me. I don't know if y'all can hear me talking on this thing. I, I don't. This is my first shot. So this will be a pilot of me running around the back roads of Arkansas. Okay, I stopped close enough. People out here doing their walks. I sure wish it was a pretty day. Maybe I should have waited till about noon to come out here. I know I'm one ready for the sun to burn this fog off and get it a little bit warmer. I'm not a cold weather person, but I'm not a real hot weather person either. This road's a little rough, of course. This camera's not mounted real sturdy on this scooter. Actually, what I'm using is my tripod mount strapped to the scooter. I've got to get me one of those that hooks to the handlebars, which I haven't got yet. I guess that's the reason I said I'm going to get one. Usually up here around this curve, I usually see a bunch of deer out there feeding, but right now deer season is going on, so the hunters got them all stirred up everywhere. We probably won't see nothing this morning. I don't see nothing down through this little pass right here where I usually see them. Usually there's a doe out here with two babies. Not any out here this morning. 
We're gonna go up a pretty steep hill and hope a little old scooter can make it up there. I may have to get off before it's wrecking. We'll give it a try and see. Of course, I've been up this hill a thousand times. But I'm going slow where we can kind of get this recording. I guess you can tell we got a few trees. Well, I'm down to 10 mile an hour. That ought to be slow enough. Coming to another even little steeper part. Ah, there's some deer right in front of us. Three of them. Yeah, they're standing there trying to look at me. There they go. Oh, that's that mama and them two babies. Yeah, there they go. They're off and away from me. I guess they stood there long enough to see that I was going to pass right by them. Now, as long as they stay in here, they're safe. The hunters can't hunt in here. Now, this is up here at the lookout point. I'll see if I can't just point the scooter that way. You can't see very good because of all the, the fog and stuff that's down there. Well, like I said, I wished it was a real pretty day for you, but it's not, so you'll just have to take a look at what you see there the best you can. Well, let's go on around to the spillway. See what we see around there. Another deer on the left hand side there. Ooh, that's a big old buck. Mercy. If I was a hunter, I'd be looking for him. The only thing I hunt is a cafe. Hey there, I got a couple of friends out here at the lake, and both their wives are really good. Well, uh, one of them, the man cooks. Uh, he's actually a chef, and he really does a good job, too. I usually camp out here on this side a lot. When my granddaughters were young, I'd camp over in Waverland Park where they could get the swimming hole. But me, I usually fish over here on this side, so I like to camp out over here. You know, any of you people watching, I, I've been on motorcycles on and off for 59 years. You would think somebody out there would give me one of those gremlin bells to go on my scooter. I'm open, folks. If y'all find a gremlin bell y'all think I need, let me know. Coming up to the camping side at the spillway. Right now we're over on the the west side. It's got an east and west bank. But we're over on the west side right now, and I usually camp over here. It's got water, electricity, and everything. 
this is a nice camping spot. I always enjoy it over here. Well, I figured Bob would be out here. I didn't see if the golf cart was in his house or not. I'll go around to the end, come back, that way you can see the... Well, the lake must be over full of three or four foot. They've got the gates open at the dam here. Spillway's running pretty good. There's part of the, the river, and there's more over here. Usually we've got a lot of fishermen right here in this curve right here. A lot of big catfish in this curve. I don't even know what time it is. Bob's over there on the other side. I see his golf cart over there. Well, I'll go back over the hill, come down on the east side camping area of the, of the river. This is the Petty Jean River is what this is. And of course that spillway that comes through the mountain moving the excess water from the lake out here into the into the Pettigean River. This water's a little bit too high for my kind of fishing. I like to fish the catfish out here. I've seen some at 50 pounds and better come out of that river. back over the little hill and come down over on the east side over there. I'm going to do some more of these on my back roads. I've got over 6,000 miles of Arkansas back roads on this little scooter. Yeah, see, that's doing pretty good. up to a sharp turn. Of course I wasn't running but about 15 miles an hour anyway. downhill. It's so pretty out here at this lake. I guess I'll never get over it.
I used to go off this bluff there on the side. It's way down there. over here on the east side I'll be back. Well, this is a east side camping ground. And of course, there's a the river again. Campers out here sipping their coffee. This is where I come about five times a week, I guess. I come out here. I always have a good time. I'm going to go back around there and check see what old Bob doing over there at the restroom. I'm sure he's cleaning it. He's the park attendant on this side. They do have clean restrooms out here, though. That's for sure. These are pretty good spots. These spots right in here are first come, first serve. All the ones on the other side are reservable. You see the typical Arkansas man sitting there drinking his coffee. Well, here you go. We're right here at one of these good restrooms. Nice and clean place. I'll stop right here and shut this thing off for a bit. <laughs> 